What's up, everybody? This is B12, and this is everything you need to know about the music business. Hello. When should you get a manager? That's the question I'm asked all the time. In fact, it's usually an artist who comes to me and wants me to manage them. I try to explain there's a lot that goes into it, and I have to think about it. It's not an easy decision. Uh, managing an artist is like a marriage. It's a long-term commitment between two individuals who should have the same goals and share the same general vision. Most people don't know how difficult it is to get a qualified manager to work with you. There are no yellow pages and there's no way to just Google a manager. There are several different types of music managers that all deal with different parts of the industry. So we're gonna discuss a few of those right now. The number one is a business manager. That's for your high level artists. You'll get there, don't worry. A business manager is good with numbers. Sometimes they're an accountant. Sometimes they're even a lawyer. It's up to this person to manage the expenses, the revenue, and the overall business. They will pay the musicians, the crew, the tour management, side artists, producers, and they'll be your interface with the record label sometimes. They also make sure that your taxes are paid and that everything is legal financially. That's uh, very important. Now, the music manager or artist manager, they advise the talent on all aspects of their career. They help the artists reach the audience, assist with the recording, the publishing, the merchandising, the touring, the music manager has knowledge in all parts of the industry, and sometimes they wear all the hats, including business manager. They advise on sponsorships, branding, licensing, the list goes on. The music manager faces outwards and looks for opportunities and collaborations with companies and other artists. Now your road manager, that's your best friend. He or she tends to handle the logistics while you're on tour. They rely heavily on making sure that everything on the road is according to contract, and take all of the directions from the music manager. Now you may not have a road manager right away, don't worry about it. That's usually gonna be your best friend or your homie or whoever you can trust. One important thing about a road manager is communication. They know the promoters, the agents, the sponsors, and they interface with all of your immediate team and your security if you happen to have a security team. Your tour manager uh, has a similar road to the road manager but they handle the larger tours and they coordinate logistics that the road manager might deal with more on a local level. They are more of the bigger picture. Again, this is for a next level artist, but you will get there if you follow all the right steps and that's what we're doing here today. There's also production managers and technical managers, also known as stage managers, but we're not gonna deal with that now because again, that's more with the touring side and we're working on you just getting your artistry off the ground. We'll circle back in another video for that. Finally, I wanna talk about a super important role. They're not a manager, but they're sometimes confused as one. That's your booking agent or your talent agent. In the beginning, you do this yourself or your manager does that, but this is the person who arranges your club dates, your concert engagements. And um, again, this won't be something you do early in your career, but as you and your business grow, he or she will be a necessary component for your success and your rise to the top. Now, let's talk about the ideal manager. A good manager is like you combining three people into one. I know, bear with me. It's your parents, your best friend, and your rich uncle. Let me explain. I say your parents because this is someone who becomes a mentor to you and this person you respect very much and in, they're there to teach you what they know. This person is gonna have your best interests in mind all the time, just like your parents would. Now I say your best friend because you're gonna spend a lot of time together in the studio, on the road, at your shows, this person is the ultimate hype man and motivator. They are gonna struggle with you in the beginning, and then you two are gonna learn a lot together because of your experiences together. They may even elevate in their role later in life with you. Lastly, and possibly most important, you need a rich uncle, because it's not cheap. Everything costs something. This person sometimes covers the cost of everything until the big break. In these scenarios, the manager will receive a larger cut than the standard percentage, and that ranges from 10 to 20%, and sometimes it's even half of your business. But if you've got the right people, it's all worth it. Sometimes it takes 10 years to become an overnight success. An ideal manager needs to know the industry. They should already have relationships, and lastly, a few dollars to invest in you. This is the best case scenario. Let's talk about self-management. That's what we all did. That's what about just about everyone I know has ever done. In the beginning, you don't need a manager, and I recommend you don't get one until necessary. 
As an independent artist, you become the record label. This means you gotta know the music business. And remember, this is called the music business. And it's 90% business and 10% music. That doesn't mean slack on your music, but definitely don't slack on your business. You're managing yourself. Doing this makes you learn about advancing your career. The more you know, the less likely someone could take advantage of you. I used to manage a lot of artists. Back in the day, I was with a small group of artists that I really believed in. And after our time passed and everybody went their separate ways and started doing their own business, I would get calls from them. And after our time passed, everyone went their separate ways and started doing business independently. Time and time again, they'd call me and they'd ask for help doing certain things. At first I'd be upset and then decided to ask them why they couldn't handle what seemed to be such an easy and mundane task after being in the industry for so long. And the simple answer was, you always did it for me. It was true. I was the one who handled that part. So keeping this in mind, you understand that the role of manager is no small and easy or light task. Most of us are already managing ourselves, whether we admit to it or not. Uh, you as the artist are usually a person who pays for everything. You make all the decisions about your business. You select the next single, you choose the video director, you run the Facebook ads, you set up the distribution. What it sounds like to me is you're already a manager. But we must check ourselves often to ensure we are on the correct path. Some things can't be anticipated and they're not set up to run on autopilot. We need to double back to see if we're making progress. One big mistake that you're gonna make is doing the right things in the wrong order. For example, so many of you will drop your single on YouTube before you upload it to your distribution platform. All the plays that you're getting on YouTube won't count as a paid stream, and you won't receive any money from that stream, and it also won't be counted towards any certifications that you might get later. Others will pay for the fake likes and the views, but they won't even pay for proven uh, platforms like Facebook and Instagram ads. The fake it till you make it syndrome, it just doesn't work. Experiences are priceless. For most of us, this is the only way we're gonna learn. There's no school that's gonna teach you everything you need to know. OJT, on the job training. For example, you hire a videographer and he shoots the video. It takes three months to get it back to you. After a bunch of back and forth, he calls, you finally get your video. You say to yourself, I'll never do that again. The next time you hire a videographer, you're gonna ensure that the guy is reputable and reliable. Sometimes that'll cost a little bit more money, but it's worth it in the long run. Advanced learning should take up a great part of your day to day. Reading books, watching tutorials, they're gonna guide you into being a better manager. This course is a great step in the right direction. Now, if you find yourself the perfect manager or the not so perfect manager, just expect the unexpected. Nothing is foolproof, and for the both of you to grow, you must learn lessons together because a loyal manager can turn into a lifelong business partner. Take a look at Paul Rosenberg with Eminem, Jerry Heller with Easy e even Benny Medina with Will Smith. They've been with them from the beginnings of their careers, and they helped them reach all of their uh, meteoric rises. Check us out next time. This is B12. Peace.